So hello everybody, I am sitting here with Christian Roy. For those who follow the channel, you have probably seen my past interviews with him on Jacques Ellul and some McLuhan as well, and the question of technicity, the, the, the problem of technology. And so he has recently written an article on Marshall McLuhan and his relationship differences to orthodoxy, because Marshall McLuhan was a Catholic, uh, looking at the places of contact with orthodoxy, but also the differences and also the possibility within McLuhan of understanding how his ideas connect to symbolic world and to symbolic vision. And so I really thought it would be a, a great opportunity to explore a little more uh, Marshall McLuhan's work, see how it connects to symbolism, and also see how he was able to perceive some of the things that we are seeing happen around us in terms of technology, in terms of social uh, transformation. And so I'm really looking forward to this conversation. This is Jonathan Peugeot. Welcome to the Symbolic World. So, Christian, maybe you can tell us a little bit about your experience with McLuhan. I know the text that you wrote for us was already presented at a conference before beforehand. Yeah, the, it was at the the Faith and Works uh, in McLuhan Faith and Works Conference in uh, Winnipeg St. Paul University in 2015, uh, centered on uh, the the religious dimension of uh, of. Uh, McLuhan's uh, thought and activity, uh, which has often been overlooked, but uh, which has surfaced more in the, to the, uh, the discussion since the publication of this book by his son, Eric, who uh, uh, The Medium and the Light Reflections on, on Religion, uh, which is a collection of, of some of uh, McLuhan's um, uh, articles and, and letters uh, pertaining to religion, uh, that it it appeared in 1999, I believe, and actually uh, I won't uh, dwell on it because uh, James Cortides already has in his uh, in his introduction to his own reading of of my recent article uh, on McLu on McLuhan for the blog. So uh, so uh, uh, well, uh, my my. Uh, it was, I guess, among my first uh, direct engagements with McLuhan, which has informed my thought for uh, I don't know, maybe decades, probably since the 1980s, my thought on, on technique. But his, uh, 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 so I, 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 I'm, uh, I'm a bit of a dabbler in his thought, but it's so, it's so nourishing that even this concentrating on a couple of articles like we are go going to do it, you know, it, it could, you could have a whole seminar on that, but we'll, I hope we'll, we'll uh, pick on, on certain uh, certain issues that stand out yeah. uh, in, in ways that uh, will uh, bring something to everyone's thinking on symbol, symbolism. And so one of the things that I find fascinating with McLuhan, and I think that is really illuminating, is the manner in which he talks about technique as an extension of the human person. As you know, this is something that I'm very fascinated with in terms of the symbolism of the garments of skin. Uh, but McLuhan really emphasizes on the, techn the techniques of information like media, writing, but then today with television and all the different media as extensions of the psyche. And so he really, he really tries to show how this extension of the psyche is different than just, let's say, physical technologies like cars and all that. So maybe you can tell, tell us a little bit about his, his understanding of this extension of the psyche. Well, it's more it, 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 it's more down to earth than that. It's, it's extension of the nervous system, see, because uh, technologies are extensions of specific uh, organs uh, as they appear uh, in human history. You know, the, the wheel is an extension of the, of, of the foot. Uh, 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 well, the house also is an extension of, of the skin. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, uh, you, you know, the list could this, this yeah. could go on. For every medium, you, you can identify what does this what does this extend in man's uh, basic physical equipment, and on a physical basis, 
the, the well, well, what, what? Okay, so, so, so the the basic, the basic uh, historical anthropological distinction is between for him is between uh, oral, audile, tactile cultures, which is sort of the baseline uh, of mankind for most of its of its history, uh, uh, and, and and visual dominated. Uh, 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 cultures that structured by the phonetic alphabet that first appear uh, when Greeks adapt the, the Phoenician uh, 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 alphabet. That is where where, where the, the 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 letters the the, the characters correspond to so sound completely independent of, of uh, any association with their shape, etc. It's completely arbitrary, uh, but that gives a uh, amazing. Uh, flexibility in in applications uh, to to classify things and order them, categorize them, and that extends the the, the reach uh, of man. But it also extends a specific uh, sense, which is uh, the eyes, uh, uh, because uh, in in normally at the at the at the kind of uh, baseline of of uh, of oral or uh, most traditional cultures, uh, <coughs> the common sense is. Uh, I can I guess well. There's a certain balance in the sensorium, in the uh, in, in the general uh, distribution of, of emphasis between the different uh, sensory inputs. Uh, but the the ones that 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 that's, that are are, 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 are are can can be said to be to give the tone for for the whole thing is more the hearing and and the, and touch, which are related because. Uh, uh, T touch involves it's is also about gaps you know you, you, you when you touch something uh, you don't merge with it there's 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 a sensitive gap uh, a, a resonant gap you would say uh, uh, so it's there's a continuity between that and, and, and sound now uh, these sensations are 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 are, are kind of uh, they tend to be um, non-specific they're the low def and, and, and low definition and, and they, they, they surround you and you can't you can't focus you can't close your ears you know you, you, you hear things in a kind of environmental way so you, you you receive all of experience kind of simultaneously uh, but in a sense uh, in a kind of heterogeneous way uh, discontinuous way because you know things will will uh, stand out in, in in very local ways that 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 uh, uh, that 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 uh, you, you can't you can't really standardize. It's, it's it's just all jumbled together. And and if there is an order to to emerge from that, it is to a kind of a of, of whole body attunement. When you when you listen to to something, and you attune yourself to to the whole environment, which will in this context in our normal culture will be the whole tribal or communal uh, communal environment, where there's not much of a distinction between individual and the group I mean this distinction really uh, arises uh, once you have uh, 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 with with the phonetic alphabet you have to um, uh, uh, you have to you have to uh, to focus while abstracting from from context you have to to, uh, to have a kind of, uh, um, you have to focus on the, the characters and and, you, and 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 you you have a kind of Men, let's say a mental image, a very a schematic mental image, a concept. Uh, so you you so you have a, a kind of pinpoint ability, which you can also which you can use to sort things in very sectorial uh, sectorial ways, and 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 uh, you you uh, so you can make the space more continuous. Therefore, you can have. Uh, citizens with equal rights in a community called the polis, the city, uh, uh, which uh, and, and, and have, you know, statues that are very clear and realistic, etc. It's very detailed because you can sort of surround visually uh, what is given to you in experience survey, make it into a, the sum of individual parts, you know, rather than a, a kind of whole body uh, um, um, uh, uh, experience uh, that, that you, you just receive everything like a vision, you know. Uh, and a vision is uh, is kind of an acoustic thing, you know. There's many many apparent paradoxes like that, but you, yeah. 
you, you receive things sort of uh, frontally wherever you, you wherever you, you you look in an acoustic uh, state because it's it's all kind of an, an apparition out of out of nowhere like out of a fog or in in the dark whereas uh, 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 with with a visual emphasis, like the, the light light is turned on and everything is very very clear very clear uh, outline. Uh, you know, uh, uh, there's little few surprises there. Whereas everything is more or less a surprise in an acoustic space. It's, mm -hmm. it's like being in, being in a fog. You're, you're sort of a, in 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 wonder or, or at whatever whatever ha happens. So you have a more a kind of magical or sacred relationship. If 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 the lights are turned on and everything is, is sort of a, a in its single place and not every uh, not a, in ambivalent positions that could move without uh, mm -hmm. without warning, uh, it's more much more predictable. So you can uh, there, there's a, a a control of the environment is more possible there. So now now that is the 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 the, the classical Greeks were the first to pioneer that and to give us some of the key. Uh, 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 the, 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 the basic elements of, of Western civilization, but uh, uh, things reverted to a more uh, sc more scribal uh, uh, and, and acoustic conditions in in the late Roman Empire and born in the, in the Near East, etc. Uh, and in the Middle Ages, the, these were still large, largely still acoustic. Culture, even though they they, they, they they wrote manuscripts. Now, what changes everything is the advent of, of print. Uh, well, well, I've I've argued in my in my in my article that actually the shift to visual dominance and McLuhan recognizes that this had, had started the at the very around the time of the of the of the Great Schisms. There was already a kind of visual bias, but it came to a head with 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 interchangeable uh, print, where you could sort of. Uh, 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 th this this uh, I, this uh, sex, uh, segmentation, categorization, standardization could could have a kind of mass uh, the uh, dimension that could you know all of all of it it, it heightened uh, in, in individual. Uh, identity and also non-local collective identity like nations and churches and sects had to be defined in yes or no, uh, in or out terms that were very sharp, you know, so there had the multiplication of, se of sects and of nation states uh, rather than broad universal jurisdiction where you had a kind of, I guess, a, a fractal relation between the, the, the local unit and the universal one. Now you had, you had the, the standardized holes on the national or, or ideological scale. Yeah. Now, this started to change. That, that was the Gutenberg. That's the Gutenberg yeah. galaxy, but that begins to be to, to shift to the. But uh, the, the, that's uh, the, the the title of uh, McLuhan's famous 1962 book, book that one of the first that made him famous on on this revolution caused by print. Now, uh, that's that's followed. That, that something changes altogether. Uh, with the with the new electric media that begin with a telegraph in the 1840s, followed by radio, telephone, uh, 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 eventually te television, computers. Uh, these are electric media. They're an, they're a new environment, and what they emphasize is what the organ they emphasize uh, in in different ways is the is uh, is the central nervous system itself. So it's your it's it's your, uh, your your neural wiring, uh, both physical and cerebral, that that, that is altered. It, it's it, it's now centered on on uh, on this external wiring of, of, of well physical wires, and now in a wireless way, a kind of diffuse a, a global environment, which is what he meant by the global village, which has like the original oral village acoustic properties, where again things like uh, symbolism can find new currency in the, in the way that they could not in the highly uh, 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 visual dominated rationalistic methodical uh, and, and, and quantitative oriented world of the Gutenberg galaxy so there are new opportunities I guess f for interest in symbolism and, it, and it, for him it shows in the, the new receptivity of a uh, contemporary man for uh, for uh, tribal peoples, oriental religions, and even the oriental forms 
of Christianity. You know, that's what uh, my, my article dealt with. Um, so these are the, the neo-acoustic tradition, the neo-tribal environment that is created by the extensions of the, the, the nervous system outside our body. So that we have now actually our self and our consciousness is mostly outside yeah. of us. Yeah. So I think to me, one of the things that makes it difficult for me to kind of get into McLuhan is at first is terminology. For example, this oral versus visual terms. At first, you wonder why, like you kind of wonder what he's saying because like you said, that there are certain aspects which, which you could say is visual, but he considers more oral tactile depending on, on its kind of integrative. Yeah, uh, yeah exactly. So, so he ends up, it ends up being more about something which is more kind of holistic this kind of holistic experience yeah. versus something which is focused yes. and and segmented. Yeah. And so if you understand it that way, then his terms start to make more sense and you can see how the pro the progression that he that he talks about in terms of the Gutenberg galaxy or the Gutenberg explosion, in terms of this uh, you know, this this hyper focus, this technical possibility of putting knowledge in books in a way that was not possible before because in the world of the manuscript even let's say in the world of the ancient uh, text you would have a line of text so people don't realize that in ancient manuscripts there was no separation between words you would just have a line of text which would cross the entire page mm -hmm. and the person reading because it, it was low definition as you as you mentioned the person reading would have to buy his inner knowledge separate the words separate the paragraph separate the sentences and so with the gutenberg uh explosion there is a need to create these clear sentences paragraphs punctuation all of this becomes hyper focus all of this is happening at the same time there's a shift in thinking it seems yeah and, um, and individual access to standard text it starts with the bible you know therefore even the standardization the absolute standardization yeah. of all text becomes yeah. necessary because yeah. we're printing them so we need to un, until now there's some variability which exists in the manuscripts because of transcription errors because of you know different traditions of manuscripts uh that are somewhat standardized but then when then we get to the Printed text, it has to be standardized. And dialects also, and you, have, you have to standardize national languages exactly. that are, uh, that are uh, uh, uniform within certain, certain boundaries. And that, uh, that, that, that applies to all, all of society. It has to be uh, 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 uniform so that, it, that there's interoperability between the, 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 all, all the all the agencies and manifestation of, of these new extensions of, of man they don't function if they, they don't have standardization mm. uh, on a certain territory and now all that is is, is upended when it becomes e electric because there's the the, 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 the boundaries are, are, are fuzzy things that happen you know and on on, 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 on on more and more of a, of a global well of course the, the world had been globalized by capitalism exploration as well by already under Gutenberg but it it happens at the, uh, at the less territorial and more directly experiential level through the media themselves, uh, starting with the telegraph, radio, etc., television, and now computers. So that, that becomes the primary reality, actually, uh, of, of how we experience even ourselves, you know, to, to, to these reflections of these extensions. Uh, well, you know, the, the, well, just look at smartphones. It's, they've become a new organ that yeah. we've had for a dozen years and our self, our very identity, is complete, is centered in it now. If someone loses their phone, they, they lose, their, they lose yeah. their face, their public face, and we come back. That's why we come back to uh, to uh, an, 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 an a shame culture as opposed to a, a guilt culture, which was a hallmark of, of more of uh, 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 of the Gutenberg uh, galaxy and alphabetic. We, we come back to oral conditions, where the worst thing that can happen to you is. Uh, is to lose face, to be cancelled, to not not have a good reputation in your in your immediate community, to be shunned by your village, which is now the global village. Yeah, cancel culture. Yeah, cancel culture is definitely part of it. We also notice in the in the age of the cell phone, in the age of uh, of the internet, especially, we can see the breakdown of grammar. 
there is a, a deliberate breakdown of grammar in order to manifest tribal affiliation. Mm -hmm. You can see that in meme culture where they will on purpose, mis if someone who can spell the word mm -hmm. will on purpose misspell words in order to to create a sense of tribal uh, yes. tribal group. Mm -hmm. uh, and so McC McLuhan, even already in the 1960s, was seeing this retribalization, which he talks about through electric media. Of course, he didn't have the internet at the time, but he was definitely foreseeing something like the internet. Yes. Um, in the uh, in the McLu in the Playboy article which he gave, he really does talk about you know this this interconnectivity and this this exteriorization and and how it's going to lead to retribalization. What's fascinating about his interpretation is that he he was predicting you know. He was predicting a a return to ethnic uh, conflict, a return to uh, tribal conflict in terms of na nations and everything. One of the things I don't know if he foresaw was rather what uh, you know what people are talking about right now in terms of mimetic tribes, which is that we we have broken down into tribes, but these tribes are these strange ideological tribes which are not centered in space, and so you have online tribes which which connect to each other. And these online, and they're not related to yeah. your local. Your they're local not spatial. They're, they're not, not spatial. spatial. They're, they're they're entirely in this this, this new, uh, the, the, uh, subtle dimension uh, 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 of an outer uh, psyche, of an outer wiring, of uh, an outer brain, really, an outer collective planetary brain. Yeah. that's what they are. Uh, and uh, you just mentioned the the, the 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 you know McEwen article and people. We should we should I, I guess specify what we're talking about. This this interview is based. Aside from my own article, on, on two uh, McLuhan's two contributions to to Playboy magazine, which are actually probably the best introduction to his to his thought, this, this famous, very long interview in uh, the uh, the the April 16, 1969 issue, uh, uh, which is very well known, included in anthologies like this one, the Central McLuhan. There's also a, a less known uh, uh, article by him. Uh, April uh, nineteen, uh, no, uh, December nineteen sixty eight, which we al we also read uh, uh, in, in preparation of this interview. So, uh, but the the, the uh, so the McLuhan interview in, in Playboy uh, is one of the few, he did, didn't like interview. He would he would just sort of uh, ramble out, uh, you know, spin out his ideas. But he did, didn't like the, the interview format because it would pin him down, you know, uh, 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 and and. Uh, <laughs> Break Extensions up. of man. I that, yeah, you can turn it off and then. Yeah, <laughs> I'll cut that out. Don't worry. <laughs> well, I think it's it's pretty good. <laughs> it illustrates my point. Yeah, perfectly. exactly. <laughs> I feel like, like I've cut a limb. Yeah, you cut a limb off and thrown his phone away. Um, but uh, well, throw tr out your eye if it offends you, and uh, you know. Uh, if it if it, if it causes you to sin and yeah. and, and probably it, it, it's something that I that I, I think in his more sober sober uh, uh, sober moods he, he might countenance you know and uh, uh, I need to cut that off at some yeah point. and of course uh, to, to him with electric conditions it's uh, uh, the, the deal is uh, uh, an ear for an eye you know <laughs> an ear for an eye yeah and he mentions that in yeah. his article so so McLuhan saw the this retribalization one of the things that i i struggle with or one of the things that i'm i see that he talks about but i'm not sure i don't know how clearly he saw it or if he was just kind of he seemed to have some weird kind of prophetic capacity is he talks about retribalization mm -hmm. and he talks about the breakdown this return to these tribal identities you mm -hmm. could say this is something that i've noticed as well the return of identity in different manners is it seems to be coming back uh, you know, in some scary and some more interesting ways. But then he also talks about how that will lead or that is also part of this global village. Mm -hmm. And so on the one hand, you have a retribalization, but then on the other hand, you have what he talks about in terms of moving towards a kind of unifying world or a, a unified world under this new global consciousness or this this conscience that will rise above the, the, the yeah. individuals. Yeah, well, it's not, it's less... Uh, it's less under or over, but that's as you know. It's mm. it's uh, uh, well, uh, yes. It's it's 
it's hard to follow him there because I mean, because there's these two aspects: tribalization and, and, and global consciousness. So the tribal aspect, the, the, what he describes in 1969, is, there too is, is, is amazing resonance. He, he talks about the 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 the. the, the the, the impending civil war of the United States that will not will not survive long as a unified country will will break up into many states along racial and regional l l lines. Yeah. <laughs> but the problem is that if I don't know if he, he would have seen that what he's suggesting has become even more complicated through this mimetic yeah. tribe. And so it's it's almost now impossible to think of the United States breaking down in regional That's it. Yeah. That's because because now it's it's all through the system. You yeah. have these 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 different groups that are set up and well, these are tribes are entirely them. online really. Yeah. yeah. They, they don't you don't have much of a geographic yeah. base. Unless unless people come out and start burning buildings as we saw as we saw this year. It it's like the conflict is all is emerging is popping out into the into the real world right now you know, but but it starts online exactly really. it yeah, all it's starts based online, online. It's, it is yeah you're totally right it's and cancel culture is is based online um and so this is really i mean this is the place where i struggle although it's like i struggle to understand him because he talks about a return to mimetic or he doesn't use mimetic but a return to tribalism a a less individualized society a, a society which is more based on group affiliation uh, but then he also talks about this kind of desire for global consciousness. And I see it, to me, it doesn't make sense, but I see it around me everywhere. That is the narrative that is being proposed to us in terms of global culture is exactly that, right? Yeah. Is, is a kind of, it's a kind of idea of, of, of like a diversity, but at the same time, everybody is in the same global culture. There's an element of that, but he's not being ideological here. No, far of from not. it. Far from it, you know. Uh, his own stance, really. He, he, uh, basically, he'd like to be a hobbit, you know. That, that's <laughs> he'd like to be in a constant, small-scale, uh, craft-based, semi-scribal culture that didn't really change. But he has to deal with the, the, the culture in which he's born, and he tries not to have value judgments about it, so he's just describing it. And yet... He, so it sort of plays with what it could become. It could be something not that bad, something actually like a village, except on a different scale, but which could also be a nightmare, you know. <laughs> so uh, that, well, uh, one of the most astounding two images that he proposes in the same interview, in this paper interview, is that on the one hand, he moves, at first he's talking about media, but then he moves in a weird mystical space where he talks about what's coming as replacing or being analogous to the to the the body of Christ in the church, but at a global scale, and so there's a there's this strange move towards this image. But then he also says maybe it could also be the Antichrist. Yeah. And so and so I'm wondering if he and other places, if you've seen him talk about this or what he what would differentiate that, and if not, what you think would differentiate the yeah. two? So I've been thinking about about that because it's rarely. Clear. I mean, for for every instance where he seems to 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 lean in one direction, you can find another another where where he leans the other, and that happens in this very in, within a couple of pages in this Playboy interview. That's what happens. <laughs> uh, you, you know, it could it it, it it could fulfill the times on not on a galactic scale. You know, it's kind of. Uh, I mean, it's. Uh, uh, it, well, it's transhumanist territory, really. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, 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 a, a kind of uh, 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 a global consciousness that would have shifted uh, with, that, with, uh, with no no distinction between the individual and the collective, and would expand uh, 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 tr throughout the the, 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 the universe and, and reshape it in a kind of uh, artistic way. It would sort of refashion itself. In an artistic way, uh, well, that is that's his uh, optimistic um, mm -hmm. hypothesis. Um, uh, well, I, I, I want to come back first to the to the to the the the, 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 the tension with the, how can that happen at the same time as the as the retravelization. Mm. Uh, uh, 
well, what's in common is that in both at both the tribal and the global level, the individual sort of merges back into mm -hmm. into the or more oral uh, collective. Uh, I I. I Uh, I, I guess he, 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 he suggests he, he suggests that since it's the same elect electronic elements, even these tribal conflicts are well, they could settle. Well, he's talking in 1969. It could settle into some uh, uh, some some kind of uh, accepted diversity where where every tribe would appreciate the other one as a tribe. Within this common uh, ele element, well, he doesn't. Uh, I mean, other places he says, well, a global village is not about you know peace and harmony. It, it means that 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 you're you're always too close for comfort and looking over your shoulder and thinking that that someone might have, have cursed you and etc. You have the, the evil eye, you know, and and uh, uh, you're almost uh, uh, you're on the edge of being at each other's throat and and, and uh, so it's not a it's not a cozy place. So, so you know. The, Uh, so he always, but well, his way of thinking is by sending out probes, you know, by, by, in a sense, uh, try, literally, literally try, tr trying out ideas into this new environment and see what sticks, you know, mm -hmm. playing, playing with them and see what, how, how what echo will come back, see what, uh, 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 uh So some different probes, different instances of his of his speculations give different results at different times. So they're, they're all possibilities to to entertain. But mm. uh, but I guess at, at that at that at that particular fireside chat, he was uh, was in a, a relatively good mood. So he, <laughs> he tried to yeah, to, to, enter, to entertain the more positive uh, the positive side of thing, where he thought that maybe. The creativity that he drew personally from it, from his his, his his literate culture, and then the avant-garde figures in 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 in, in, uh, in uh, Western literature that that sort of uh, foresaw uh, the, the the changes ahead. Maybe if if that the creativity of a Joyce or a Pound or an Eliot, it maybe it could be shifted to the uh, to the to the global. Uh, 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 electric uh, neo uh, acoustic uh, 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 environment, which they 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 they, uh, uh, they, they, they foreshadowed in, in 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 their work. So th that's an optimistic hypothesis. But my my my, my perception of that is uh, you you can't have creativity uh, on a kind of. Uh, for for a, a collective brain on a, on 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 a, on a, the planet on, on the scale of a planet, you have to have uh, 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 embodiment in a finite self that has to to find its ways around the 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 the, 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 the different dimensions of its of its finitude in in, in space and time uh, and and the uh, uh, a kind of. Uh, 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 Aesthetic and, and spiritual wonder at its own contingency, trying to renegotiate uh, the, the, the the different parameters of, of its uh, of its embodied uh, of of, of, uh, of embodied existence uh, every moment. It's something that artists do by feeling out the, the environment, seeing how things could be uh, experiencing and enacting how things could be reconfigured, how the connections could be made with these different dimensions of the self. I don't see this. Being so up, uploaded to a collective uh, uh, artificial intelligence, right. uh, it would just go on, you know, like 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 a Borg or whatever, you know. Like <laughs> <laughs> you know that that's, that. I mean, how, how else do you do you yeah. ima imagine something spreading like that to the to the earth and beyond? You know, yeah. yeah. Reminds me, reminds me, you know, of uh, the projected ending of, of jo uh, Jodorowsky's Dune. You know, where where uh, there's there's a kind of uh, 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 collective uh, uh, awakening. Well, uh, 
the, the Messiah, Paul, who had deep his skill, but everyone says, I am Paul, I am Paul, I am Paul. And the whole planet so starts to, to move through the universe to bring in a collective enlightenment to <laughs> the whole universe of this yes. collective consciousness. It's a kind of 60s yeah. psychedelic, like psychedelic trip. You know, it doesn't age well. Doesn't <laughs> <laughs> but I think that there's something about his apocalypticism, which is interesting in the sense that there, you know, you see in the Christian tradition, you'll see this notion of the two versions of the last judgment. Christ talks about how the wheats and the tares are growing together and that it's only at the end that we'll be able to separate yeah. the wheat from the tares. Yeah. And so I think that maybe his intuition was something like that, where he was, he was seeing that in this increase in technicity, that, it, that there's an extreme danger and extreme, extreme uh, danger of, of falsification of... Uh, of chaos, uh, of pride, but at the same time, he can't completely discount it. He sees there's also positive in it, and is diff- he was struggling to separate the two. But it's it's a it's a it's a strange thing because even in terms of the difference between Christ and Antichrist, everybody thinks that they'll be the one who who can tell the yeah. difference. Uh, but it's it's very different. It's very difficult to know, you know, the the difference between, let's say. Uh, an example in scripture, the difference between Judas telling Christ that they should use the money to help the poor and Christ telling us to help the poor. Yeah. And so what is the difference? There is a difference between the two, but I think that it's easy to be seduced by, by, you know, by one or the other. That's it's easy to be seduced by the falsification. And in terms of, I think that in, I, I wonder in terms of where we're seeing it go now, in terms of the little versions of what he's talking about, like something like Facebook or or Twitter or even Google itself, we can really perceive the dark aspects of this kind of global consciousness or this 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 like global brain. We can see it taking form in front of us, mm-hmm. and it doesn't it doesn't necessarily look pretty because it is too it too easily becomes a frame that can be manipulated. And once we're connected to it, then that manipulation becomes 1984 style, the inevitability of, 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 of reality. Well, I, I, like I, that I, first page of Google, like the first page of Google search has become the new frame of yeah. many people's perception. Except there's no big brother in this constellation. Uh, no, no, no one, no one's uh, in particular is 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 uh, ordering all of this, you know. And anyone who does is itself uh, uh, a, 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 a dispensable organ of that configuration, which has a mind of its own, you know. Our, our most, our mind is mostly already offloaded up there. And uh, to come back to the contrast of tribalization and globalization, well, what we're experiencing now is both at once. Tribalization heightens. Our fascination, our, our absorption and migration into the global media. That's where our being is. And the more we're excited about tribal conflict, the more we, we are exactly. the, 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 the global uh, consciousness. So, uh, uh, and so, so, sorry for those who think that, that, that you know, uh, uh, vaccines or viruses or, 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 or whatever are going to invade your body from outside. You're already inside the beast. I like to say we're already uh, uh, intestinal flora in the belly of the beast. Yeah. That, you have to deal with that. It's not coming from outside. You're already being digested. <laughs> You're part of its metabolism. So what do we do with that? Yeah. But would you, like, one of the ways to understand it, this is a way that is going to scare people when I say it, but to me, a way of understanding it has to do with talking about the traditions in Enoch, right? This, this notion of the fallen angel or this notion of the principality which falls into the world and brings about the mechanical world or the metallurgic world that is there before the flood, you know? And so when we say that there's nothing let's say, controlling it. Uh, to me, all bodies need principalities, okay? And so I can't, I, to well, me... Well, let's say nobody in particular. Right. But there are, to me, there has to be some principalities that are, that are using this as a, as a body. And so I don't, I don't necessarily, and I don't want to freak, I don't want people to be freaked out like I'm thinking, 
But I think that there's an inevitability, and because the system, like because the systems are geared towards our passions, let's say it's clear that Facebook and Twitter use our irascible passions to stay alive. Mm. That's how they 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 feed on our our our, our conflict uh, yeah. with and each it, other. It matters uh, not one whit which which side you're on in the culture war. The the, the deeper you're in, well. <laughs> <laughs> on whatever side, the deeper you 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 you're, you're within the one subject that that that, that is uh, the, uh, of this 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 whole thing that you think you're fighting, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, there has been there has been a let's say I think there has been some efforts on part of some of the media texts to take sides, but every time they really do take a side, they they in the end end up weakening their own beast because, like you said. It feeds off conflict. If you say we're going to remove extremes from this side, then they're yeah. they're 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 weakening themselves yeah, because they're like fragmenting Zuc the yeah, piece. Like Zuckerberg did a few days back by about saying, well, you know, the new documentary on uh, uh, on, on social media, uh, you know, we 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 we're starting to 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 deal with 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 content, so so it's it's going to be under control. But that's not the point. That's the basic McLuhan point. Doesn't the content is not the issue? It's the medium. That's that's where the subject, your consciousness is. It doesn't matter what what are what uh, what, what uh, is the particular uh, motif emerges. In, the, in that in that element, the, the, it's the element itself, uh, uh, and how 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 do you even perceive this element? You know, like like he liked to uh, uh, often said, uh, you know, we we're, we're we're not sure who discovered water, but we're pretty sure it wasn't a fish. You mm -hmm. know, you need a counter environment you, like him. He could perceive what was happening because, well, as a literate man, he was outside the. Uh, 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 electric environment to some degree, but unlike other literate man of his of his day, he, he could also he could not he could not pretend that his his familiar categories of 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 of, of written text, you know, shielded him from from the outside world of advertisement and and the the actual life of, of uh, contents of the consciousness of his of his student, not the contents, but the 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 the, the, the fabric, you know, of the human mind as it existed. Uh, in in the in uh, in the the, the 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 young man he faced as as a, as a professor, see, so uh, it's not a matter of the of the contest, but it's the the medium I itself, the the the, the electric uh, uh, this electric psyche that we have, and uh, uh, I, I might get into scary territory too, but I, I like to think of it in terms of an egregore, uh, which is a, a term from from occultism. About a kind of emergent collective uh, uh, being that, that that comes from an, an entanglement of an, an enmeshing uh, 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 of, the, of, of I guess of different intention, intentionalities, different consciousness that become that become a mind of their own. Mm -hmm. So uh, a, 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 a civilization or a religion could be an egregore, or, but these things, you know, they're, they're, they're it's it's a it's a psychic entity that that exists on, 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 on its own. Well, egregore means from the from the the herd. You know, it's something yeah. constituted from. It's a herd mind that exists independently of its individual constituents. Yeah. So that that thing that we're uh, 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 drifting on or part of it has a mind of its own, and it, and it. Uh, probably has some some kind of uh, of, uh, 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 of of weird intentionality that we can't fathom. You know, it, it's a psychic entity that yeah. happens to have an electric body. You know, yeah. yeah. But that's where I that's where to me at least under seeing this happen and like you said, noticing it and noticing uh, that its intention is beyond the individual intentions of those involved, yeah. and you can see it. Like you can you can see that Zuckerberg and uh, what's his name. Uh, the, the CEO of Twitter, they're they're they can't control their monster anymore. No. They're it's completely out of control for them, and they keep saying they'll do it, but they can't. And no. so you can notice that these things have a will of their own, yeah. based on the very on the patterns that were set up, you know, in the beginning as they were coming to life. And this is where, to me, I, I it helps me to understand 
the idea of fallen angels. Like it really helped me to understand what fallen angels can mean, how these how principalities fall can fall into into aggregate bodies and start to manifest patterns which are are disjuncted. They're they're real and but they're 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 destructive in the sense that they that they're feeding on their they're they're feeding on each other and they're they're not let's say they're feeding on the energy of the people almost like a weird parasite uh, but it's not a parasite because it's we are the ones who are giving it its energy into, yeah, yeah. for it to exist and because it's not individuated it's kind of unvulnerable you know you can't pin it down and say oh if we if we pin it if if we if we if we strike it there to, no it won't stay there it's so diffuse you know yeah well it's It's viral, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> um, but it, and and so it, to me, it's very it's very fascinating to to see that McLuhan seems to have had even before the internet seems to have had a intuition of how this was was kind of moving where it was going. Um, but in in order to not be too negative, I think one of the things you explore in the article and one of the things I want to explore with you is. Because it is a breakdown of this Gutenberg galaxy, because this new electric uh, world, this new electro electric acoustic world of tribalism, there is in that nonetheless an opening to talk about a more symbolic vision, a more connected vision, and a more even within the chaos yep. to introduce a more kind of holistic, coherent vision of the world. But you're living proof of that, of, of it. We, we are, you know, we, you know, we, we're also, uh, you know, uh, uh, psychic projections are, are already a, a, a existing in, in that element, and yet we point to something else, uh, maybe not outside, but certainly inside each uh, still existing embodied subject. See, uh, uh, caught up as we are in the, in, in this psychic uh, flood. Mm. Uh, So it's an element that is conducive to symbolism as well as, as confusion and also to the confusion of symbolism. Mm. Uh, so uh, uh, discernment and, 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 and attempts at, 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 uh, uh, at embodied focus such as what uh, a spiritual or ritual practice can, can provide is of the essence here. If we want to to retain our, our humanity and 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 maybe recover uh, uh, an an integrity of a different kind than just uh, going and merging with the 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 the, the, the maelstrom uh, of, of of the electric beast, uh, this would all, I mean. A few decades ago, if you would uh, refer to the, the divine, what, you, what what would you show? You would show uh, 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 Michelangelo's 16 chapel, you know, uh, a piece of meat hanging, hanging in midair mid and, 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 and gesturing to another piece of meat, but in <laughs> wonderfully realistic uh, de yeah. detail. And that would be, it's the idea of the divine that uh, it, atheists still propagate, you know, that when they think of religion, oh, it's the, it's what, uh, yeah. that, well, people who are generally spiritual now, they, they, they hardly bother with that, what they, what, what they know to be spiritual is, is an uh, icon, a mandala, something from a, 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 an archaic a culture, a tribal culture, a, 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 well, an, a non Gutenberg, Gutenberg culture, mm -hmm. even a Christian one. Yeah. Uh, And that's because of the rebalancing of the sensorium that's happened thanks to the breakdown uh, of the Gutenberg galaxy under the impact of the Marconi constellation uh, that, that is now coming to its full flowering uh, 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 with, 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 with uh, our, our uploading in a, in a, in a global instantaneous uh, Uh, electro electronic and cybernetic environment. See, mm. so uh, yes, even even as as you know, uh, tiny microbes in the belly of the beast, we we're still an element of, of we can still regain some. S s we, we can ourselves become the parasites of that larger, mm. uh, uh, very ambiguous being. Yeah, we, we, uh, no, <laughs> no, but I agree. I think that this is one of the reasons why I talk about what I call the double inversion. Or you know this the, the the fool at the end which turns things back, which is that in the world that in the world of the the beast, like when the the 
let's say the this beast has taken over, you know, those that constitute some form of normal hierarchy appear as a parasite that that finds some food actually in the belly of the beast to point people back towards the and and use I it's like that's why one of the reasons why I talk about monsters and peripheral things is because I can I I can because that's where we that's what we're in we're in this weird egregore of of disparate elements which are nonetheless connected together in a kind of chaotic manner and manifest a will you know that in that there's food to point back towards a kind of normal kind of normal order which also includes the monsters on the edge and includes you know the leviathan which which is this this uh this the beasts that that are on the edge um and so i think that there's i think that there's hope maybe not for every everything but there's hope at least for a remainder or a small arc that can float inside the the digestive tract of the beast (laughs) yeah but we have to be a a, a sort of nimble you know uh, well, of course, yeah. Well, uh, McLuhan's, you know, classic simile for the situation, in which it, you know, it, it, it's was the the descent into the maelstrom by by Edgar Allan Poe. You know, where this this this, this guy is, is is in a shipwreck. His, his ship is is uh, you know he's floating around. The, the, the debris of his ship are are circling in this huge uh, whirlpool that that's emerged in the ocean and falling into this black hole, uh, but. So he, he sees the end approaching with every turn, every revolution of, of the uh, of the mindless spin, and yet he observes among the debris some that are that are floating, well, some some uh, faster with the current, some slower, some actually even opposite the current. He, he realizes that there are some counter currents there. So he manages, I believe, to to swim to one that that flows in the opposite direction that goes up. Uh, that goes not down but uh, up oh. to, to the to, to, to the to the to the to the sea and beyond the pool of the maelstrom and that that was McLuhan's uh, wager you know mm. uh, so if we understand the medium that we're uh, immersed in that and that's sucking us uh, us into a, a, a black hole imploding uh, b- b- before us uh, we have to learn to, to swim it and to navigate the currents and cur- counter currents so we first have to to observe it, but not necessarily in a visual way. We have to feel our way through it, in mm. a sense, uh, or actually bring to bear all all our, all our, our senses, uh, 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 including the the, the 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 distinct sense that 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 uh, uh, McLuhan saw in faith itself. He described it, it described faith, uh, Catholic faith, in his in his terms. Uh, that's something completely different from what people understand. It's it's not a concept in the sense of a belief or a trust, etc. It's a percept. Uh, it's it's uh, it's uh, a, 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 sens- a sensibility to so to certain resonant harmonies bet- between between uh, realities visible and invisible uh, that, that 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 are like a sixth uh, sense that get that structures the the interplay of the of the five other ones mm. the spiritual sense the percept uh which is not based on on distance but when but when, and not on incomplete immersion either but 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 in the uh, uh, awareness uh, of the interplay and the resonance between different levels different currents etc mm. so uh so that's what we need to 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 develop and you know uh uh, certain spiritual disciplines can are probably the best bet to mm-hmm. to navigate that as as long as we're not too stuck in their form and we can also bring discernment to just the element and uh, that we're immersed in the the, the resonance resonance among the among its chaotic debris mm-hmm. uh, the flotsam of of, of, of uh, surrounding us see the the, the there are things that we can use to build a raft and maybe guide it to the surface. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that on that note of hope, it's probably <laughs> a good place to finish our conversation. Uh, and so uh, I just want to I want to thank you for this this moment. I hope that everybody this has been useful to kind of begin or to think about uh, this exploration of McLuhan, who was a strange in a way, a strange modern prophet who perceived what was happening. And I think that I think Christian, your call for us to be aware of where we are, not be naive about the environment in which we are living, so that we can navigate it as best we can. 
so that we can change the death into something exactly. better. Yeah. So thanks for your time, Kitsan. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this discussion on Marshall McLuhan. As you might know, the symbolic world is not just these videos, but it's also a blog. There is also a podcast and there's also a Facebook group where people discuss all these different ideas on symbolism. So make sure to check that out. There is also a clips channel, which breaks apart some of my ideas into smaller shareable clips. And because of some of the subjects we're talking about, YouTube is not favorable to us. And so make sure to subscribe and to share these videos on your own so that we can get these ideas out there. For those who are watching this as it's just coming out, Teespring is offering a fall sale until the end of the weekend. And so you can use the uh, code word HAYRIDE to get 10% off Symbolic World merchandise. It's a good time to buy all of those great Christmas gifts for lovers of symbolism. And so thanks everybody for your support and for your time. And I will talk to you very soon.